Uh, William Penn was a real estate developer, and he and Holm came up with an idea of, of a, a plan of the city of Philadelphia, this wonderfully neat, um, call it a grid of streets with green public squares, and published the map in 1683 as an advertisement. You know, his father, uh, Admiral William Penn, lent the King of England. Uh, an amount of money, uh, Charles II uh, of England, and uh, rather than pay the Penn family back in, you know, in, in cash, uh, Charles II said, here, I'll give you a land grant uh, in North America. And uh, Charles II made William Penn the Lord Proprietor of the colony of Pennsylvania, which is named after Penn's father, not after Penn himself. And it extended, well, I think it, I can't remember what they estimate the size of it is, we can do that later, but, um, so he has this wonderful land grant, and by being made Lord Proprietor, it means that he has ownership of millions of acres of land in the New World, and his job is to attract settlers to those lands who will then pay him for the privilege of, of settling there. And he came up with an interesting idea to sell this to uh, what were known as the first purchasers, uh, well-to-do merchants, professionals in London and some other English cities, many of whom were, most of whom were Quakers, um, and said, what you can do is you can buy some, you know, a small piece of, of property in the city you'll also be able to buy land in a suburban area adjacent to that city and then a much larger sort of farmland out in the rural areas. And so what he's trying to do is replicate the situation that um, uh, the landed aristocracy uh, as well as, as wealthy merchants in England were doing. And that is, you would have a place of business in the city, but you'd also have a house in the country and, and a kind of retreat. Uh, and then you would have a farm farther out in the counties that was leased to tenant farmers and that, that was an income producing property. And so Penn needed to make money from this land.